Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So yesterday we got it officially confirmed that there would indeed be an animation for the Underwater Menace. For those of us who already knew, thanks to the rumour reported in the mirror back in January, this didn't really come as much of a surprise. But it's still great to see that the animations are 100% continuing. The official press release for the animations announcement said... The second Doctor's partially missing adventure will be animated with four new episodes in colour and high definition, releasing on DVD and Blu-ray. BBC Studios continues to offer Doctor Who fans the opportunity to extend their at-home collection by announcing the latest release, Doctor Who The Underwater Menace, on DVD and Blu-ray. The two-disc box set contains the fourth series story as well as special features. This classic series stars the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton, and co-stars Annika Wills as Polly, Michael Craze as Ben, and Fraser Hines as Jamie McCrimmon. The original 1967 master recordings of all except episodes 2 and 3 of The Underwater Menace were lost soon after the programme's original transmission. However, audio-only recordings of the missing two episodes have survived, and have been used to create a brand new, fully animated presentation of this lost classic. This story sees these characters navigate through their adventures in the underwater city of Atlantis, where they meet with Professor Zaroff, who plots to destroy the Earth by draining the oceans. Fans can expect a super jam-packed series bursting with unseen exclusive content. All episodes have been animated in colour and black and white, whilst including original film elements. Disc 1 main feature, so that is episodes 1 to 4 animated in both colour and black and white. Disc 2 special features, episode 1 reconstruction, episodes 2 and 3 original 1967 episodes, episode 4 reconstruction, a fishy tale, the making of documentary, Australian censor clips, the man from Medits, Fraser Hines introduction for episode 2 as per the original VHS release, BBC News Report from South Today, BBC Radio Solent piece, audio only, photo gallery, animation gallery, and some PDF material, including the camera script. Doctor Who The Underwater Menace will be available for fans to buy from November 2023. Doctor Who The Underwater Menace is available to order on DVD, Blu-ray or Blu-ray Steelbook from Amazon, Rare Waves and HMV. A teaser trailer was also released on the show's official YouTube channel. Whilst it doesn't give away that much, it does look pretty good. Nothing is mentioned about how this animation is being funded, whether it be by BBC America again, although I doubt that very highly, or by someone like Britbox or Disney. So it would be interesting to know what's going on with that. As I said earlier, it's great to see the animations come back. Whilst The Underwater Menace isn't a story I really care much for, it's my least favourite Patrick Troughton story, it's still good to see it getting animated. As for whether this now means that we're going to get an animation for The Smugglers 2, as that was what the original Mirror article that started the rumour mentioned, I think there's a good chance it could happen now. The Mirror got it right with The Underwater Menace, as well as many other animations in the past, so why not with The Smugglers too? Besides, I find it interesting that the colourised Smugglers clips aren't listed as a special feature for The Underwater Menace, so perhaps that's another sign that The Smugglers is going to get animated too, assuming they're ever going to release the colourised clips of course, but I don't see why they wouldn't. So yeah, thank God the animations are back. I know we all thought that the Abominable Snowmen last year was going to be the last one for quite a while, but I'm so glad that turned out to not be the case. Whilst I know they aren't for everyone, especially with how they are increasingly taking more and more liberties and not sticking too much to the original versions, they do at least give us something new to talk about when it comes to the show's missing episodes, and they're always made with a lot of love and care. The only negative thing I have to say about this animation is that I'm a bit miffed with the fact that if you want to watch the surviving episodes 2 and 3 alongside the animation, you have to put in a separate disc now, 
but if that's the only downside, then I'd say it's pretty worth it, really. But anyway, so there's my thoughts on the new Underwater Menace animation. But what did you think? Are you looking forward to watching it or not? Are you also glad to see the animations come back? And how do you feel about the animations doing more of their own thing nowadays? And how do you like to watch them normally? Please let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, so thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it, so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. This channel currently has 1,220 subscribers as of the time of writing and recording this video. But if we can get to 2,500 by the end of this year, then I will do another Q&A, where you can ask me whatever questions you want. Just keep them polite, please. Also, please rate and comment below your thoughts on all of this. And I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye-bye!